Hi friends, today I am going to cover Azure Data Explorer in quick 2 minutes video. Azure Data Explorer is a very beautiful feature from Microsoft which helps you to fully manage the data analytics service for real time analysis on large volumes of data streaming from applications, websites and IoT devices and more. It got a lot of capabilities. A few of those features are like supporting semi-structure, unstructured and structured uh, data. It supports JSON, XML and free text type of data as well. Low latency batch and streaming ingestion for high volumes of data. Cost optimization features like pass, resume, cluster, auto scale, easy caching configurations to define data retention in warm and cold storage. Can query across both warm and uh, cold storage with one query in one go. That's uh, one of the beautiful feature. Usually what happens uh, you may store uh, warm into the ADX and uh, the cold into the maybe data lake storage or somewhere in the data bricks or maybe something else like Synapse Analytics, right? So there are plenty of ways of storing the cold, but if you want to query the data across warm and cold, you need to use altogether a different mechanisms, which is going to be very hard. But here in this case, you can write one query it will internally figure it out where the data is and how the data need to be pulled out whether it is storing in the warm or cold storage the next one is retention period can be defined by you uh, the cold storage is unlimited that you can keep it forever and uh, there are certain limitations on the warm storage uh, that warm storage can be even called as a hard storage because uh, performance is too quick and too good as uh, it is shown in the picture the data can be ingested, ingested from apps, Logstash, or Kafka, IoT Hub, Event Hub. There are plenty of uh, sources you can utilize to dump the data, even from the databases like SQL Server or any other databases like Cosmos. It can also be dumped into the uh, ADX, and under the ADX, you can manage the data. There are two components like data management and engine. So all this data can also be queried by Power BI uh, if you want to really create a beautiful UI presentation or dashboards then that can be easily pulled out with the help of the K uh, KQL or you can also use some .NET SDK, Java SDK. There are plenty of SDKs are supported for the ADX. That's the beauty of the ADX. Moving on to the use cases, IoT applications. IoT applications usually generate a huge amount of data every day, every second. They keep on sending some kind of uh, logs or notifications or alerts. So all those can be captured into the ADX eventually. Big data logging platform, if you want to really log all the data from the big data platforms, that also is one of the use case. As I mentioned, Archival is one of the best case, you know, if you want to dump a lot of data from the Cosmos to ADX, definitely it is going to save a lot of money and at the same time you can uh, uh, get good performance out of it. Data analytics is uh, another one, like, you know, if you want to analyze some data, Definitely Azure Data Bricks and uh, SQL and uh, Synapse Analytics are the other options. But along with that, you can even look at uh, ADX. It may be helpful, but you don't get all these uh, machine learning kind of capabilities on the ADX. Whereas, you know, on the Azure Data Bricks, you can get all those. Thanks for watching my videos.